Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this integral on the board for you guys. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, this question looks kind of simple, right? Can't just do a very simple substitution, just like let u equals ln of x. Well, I've tried that, you can try that as well, and it doesn't work. But the substitution that does work is when we let u to be 1 plus ln of x. Now, the reason I would think of that is because usually when we try and solve integrals, we try and make the denominator simple, and we try to make the numerator more complicated and long. Why, you ask? Because it's super simple to utilize partial fractions if the denominator is super simple, right? So that's what I was thinking. Why don't we let u to be 1 plus 1 of x? So if we let u to be 1 plus ln of x, then by a few steps, you can solve that x is equal to e to the power of u minus 1. So dx will be e to the u minus 1 du. Because, as you know, the derivative of e is itself. And then if we do the bounds, where well, x is equal to e, you can solve by itself, u will actually be 2. And when x is equal to 1, u will be 1. So now we have constructed a new integral, and we can write that on the board. So our new integral goes from 1 to 2 of, okay, so that ln of x is just u minus 1. The bottom is u squared. And then the dx is just e to the u minus 1 du. Okay? So now, we can actually use partial fractions. So if you imagine yourself unpacking this times that, then you see that we can separate this integral into two separate integrals. And I will just rub this out so you have more space. Okay, so if we separate this into two different integrals, then we can see that this first integral will be u times this divided by u squared. And this u can cancel out with one of these u's on the bottom. So the integral will just be e to the u minus 1 over u. Okay, and then as you see, minus the second integral also goes from 1 to 2 of we do this 1 times this over that so it's very simple it's just still e to the u minus 1 but instead of over u we have over u squared and this over u squared is actually very very helpful because once you see if you notice, this integral has 1 over u squared du. And once you see this, you should think of something. Integration by parts. Well, why? Because you can easily make the form of integration by parts. Because this is just equal to negative d u to the negative 1. Well, why? Because the derivative of 1 over u is negative 1 over u squared. This negative and that negative cancel out to just become 1 over u squared. So, we can use integration by parts. So, if we just keep writing this, equal to integral from 1 to 2 of e to the u minus 1 over u du. And then, this minus and this minus cancel out to become a plus. Integral from 1 to 2 of... So it becomes e to the u minus 1, and this over u squared becomes this, without a negative, because this negative was put here. So it will just become d u negative 1. Now, once we do integration by parts, you'll be fascinated about what we find. So this is equal to, we copy this, Integral from 1 to 2, e to the u minus 1 over u, 
Mm -hmm. We add a width. So the first step is we multiply this by that. And if we put the u on the denominator, then we have d to the u minus 1 over u going from 1 to 2. And then we subtract the integral from 1 to 2 of, we do this multiplied the derivative of this. So 1 over u multiplied by, as you know, the derivative of this is just itself. So multiply by e to the negative, e to the u minus 1, u. And then don't forget to close the bracket. Okay, so now if we unpack everything, then we see this equal to the integral from 1 to 2 of e to the u minus 1 over u du. And then we add it with, if we evaluate this from 2 to 1, then you see that if we plug in 2, then it becomes e over 2, so plus e over 2, and then you subtract when you plug in 1. When you plug in 1, it's just simply 1. And now, this plus and that minus still becomes a minus. So minus, integral from 1 to 2. We can put the u on the denominator, so e to the u minus 1 over u du. And now, if you guys see, this and that actually cancel out. Cancel, cancel. So we have actually figured out this. Super fascinating, right? So the final answer is just e over 2 minus 1. Wow. So this is the final answer of this integral that looks very simple, but not that simple. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy my videos and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.